What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS and iPadOS 15.0.1 almost two weeks after the initial release of iOS 15 and about a week after the launch of the iPhone 13. So in this video, we're gonna be covering everything new in the update, including the bugs that have been fixed and also the ones that are still remaining, the performance, battery life, and of course, whether or not you should update. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So you can see here, the update came in around 600 megabytes for me on on my iPhone 13 Pro. That size will vary depending on your device and the version you're coming from, but that was coming from iOS 15.0. So if you go ahead and check out the build number, if we go to our settings, general about, you could see there the build number is 19A348, and also the modem firmware is now 1.00.03. So if you're having connectivity issues, those could be resolved here with this update. So now what's new here in iOS 15.0.1, and this is going to be the first bug fix update of iOS 15. So do not expect any new features and you know massive changes. This is going to be a bug fix update. The new features are going to come in like 15.1, which we're expecting at the end of this month and 15.2 and the big point updates like that not the 0.1 updates those are reserved for fixing bugs and the first bug that's been fixed here with this update is the unlock with apple watch feature has finally been fixed for the iphone 13 models so i say finally it's only been a week but still this is a major bug for those that use this feature so if we go to our settings and then go to our face id settings and then go down to the unlock with apple watch section this was not able to be turned on for some iphone 13 users it would just simply say that it could not communicate with the Apple Watch. And sometimes even when you turn it on and then try to unlock your phone, it just simply would not work. But now in 15.0.1, you will be able to use unlock with Apple Watch without issue on any model iPhone, including the iPhone 13. And you can see here, if I cover up my mouth, I can unlock my phone easily using that unlock with Apple Watch feature no issue here anymore. Now the next bug that's been addressed is the storage almost full bug. So some people on iOS 15 would get this message on the front page of their settings right here that would say storage almost full, even when they had, you know, like 100 gigabytes of free storage available. So it was a bug that just said their storage was almost full, but it wasn't, and that has been addressed, although there is still another issue related to the storage that I'll talk about here in a moment. And then we also have another fix related to the Apple Watch and the fitness application. So Apple says audio meditations could unexpectedly start a workout on Apple Watch for some Fitness Plus subscribers. So that has also been resolved if you saw audio meditations just starting out of nowhere. And then also in 15.0.1, I noticed that AirPods Max are no longer disconnecting every 10 minutes like they were for me on iOS 15. I had tons of issues with this. I reset them multiple times, but I just had tons of issues with the AirPods Max. But ever since updating and listening to music for the past, you know, 45 minutes or so, I've not had any issues with these disconnecting or having any issues with the buttons. So it seems like the AirPods Max issues have been fixed. And those are pretty much all of the changes here in iOS 15.0.1. Like I said, it's going to be the first initial bug fix release for iOS 15. We should expect a lot more features and bug fixes in future updates like 15.1 that we're expecting at the end of this month, or even a 15.0.2 could be released before iOS 15.1. We'll talk about all that later on, but I also wanted to talk about some remaining bugs that are still here after 15.0.1. And the first one is inside of settings. Like I mentioned earlier, if we go to our settings and then general and iPhone storage, some users are still seeing a storage bug, not the one where it says it's almost full, that has been fixed, but a storage bug where it shows the incorrect amount of data being used on your phone. So some people say, you know, that like applications or media is taking up, you know, 50 gigabytes when it's really only taking up like 10 and they have the proof down here. It shows down here the accurate amount, but up here it shows an inaccurate amount. So it seems like there's still an issue with calculating the storage up top. So it's not really affecting your storage. It doesn't actually, you know, fill up and tell you your iPhone storage is full, but it is still a bug remaining here in 15.0.1. And then we also have a couple of bugs related to the iPhone 13 that are still present after this update. And the first one has to do with CarPlay. So it seems like a lot of people are having issues with CarPlay here on iOS 15 and especially on the iPhone 13. So it must be an issue with these new models, but it doesn't work sometimes. And people are saying that sometimes it causes their iPhone to crash when they're trying to play Spotify music or sometimes when they're trying to listen to music and have 
maps going at the same time. So it seems like there's some issues with CarPlay still remaining here in iOS 15, specific to the iPhone 13. And then we also have issues with third-party applications supporting 120 Hertz. So if you have the iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, it seems like applications are still not fully supported for you know 120 hertz which will take time you know a lot of people are complaining about that but it's just going to take time for developers to update their apps and then we also still have an issue with touch responsiveness here on ios 15.0.1 mainly in like the youtube application so it seems like this is an issue mainly with youtube and not just the iphone itself because i don't have any touch responsive issues on the home screen or anywhere inside of default applications it's always inside of third-party applications like YouTube. So that is still remaining here in this update as well. And then I know some people also ask me about the macro shots on the iPhone 13 Pro. If we have that animation, if it goes away, but no, you can still see that little animation when it switches in to a macro shot. So I'll go out of here and then go in. You can see there's that slight little animation where it blurs a little bit. So still waiting on a toggle for macro shots or something like that, but that little animation is still there. That little stutter is still there. So yeah, we still have some bugs remaining here on 15.0.1, but that's expected i mean it's the first bug fix update for ios 15 apple has not been able to fix everything yet we're only two weeks into ios 15 so we can expect to see more bug fixes and of course more features coming very soon as well now when it comes to the performance performance feels about the same as ios 15 so far i don't see any changes to the promotion display here on my iphone 13 pro and then i also didn't see any change in like opening up applications or just raw performance in general although i will run a geekbench test just to see if anything has been changed here so we're going to run a cpu test real quick and see what we score so you can see we scored a 1729 on the single core in a 4774 on the multi-core so some pretty strong results there so performance should be about the same still as 15 but it might be slightly improved because we do have some pretty solid geekbench results there and as far as battery life goes i would not expect any change to battery life at all because apple didn't mention anything about it in the release notes i've also not seen too many people mention battery life you know being bad or battery drain on ios 15 so i would not expect it to be you know any better or any worse than it was on iOS 15. And then as far as iPad OS 15.0.1, you can see here I installed this on my new iPad mini and it came in at just under 500 megabytes. And this includes pretty much the same fixes that we saw on the iPhone. So it fixes the issue in the settings app where it shows the incorrect storage or it shows the storage almost full. And then also we have the audio meditation bug fix as well for the Apple Watch and Fitness Plus. And just like iOS, I would not expect any changes to the performance or battery life here on iPad OS 15.0.1. So a much more minor update for the iPad this time around. So now should you update to iOS 15.0.1? And I say that if you were having the issue with the unlock with Apple Watch on the iPhone 13, absolutely, it's a no brainer to update. And also if you were having the storage bug or any issue with AirPods, I would go ahead and update to 15.0.1 as well, regardless of the device you're currently on. And even if you are not having any of the issues that were addressed in this update, I would still just go ahead and update to 15.0.1. It's the first bug fix update for iOS 15, and I just think it's a worthy update. It's not really going to break anything, so there's really no downside to updating here. All right, so now what's next here for Apple? So when can we expect to see the next iOS release? So we just got iOS 15.1 beta 2 earlier this week so i would expect beta 3 to be released next week on the week of the fourth for those of you who are on the beta program now if you're not on the beta program and you're only doing public releases now which is kind of smart at this point because we're past ios 15 and now we're into the point updates you can expect to see ios 15.1 near the end of october and this includes a fix for share player it brings share play back so if you're missing that feature in facetime where you can share your screen with others and you know play music together that's going to be included in that update along with other features and changes as well so we can expect to see that sometime near the end of october and like i said earlier there is also the possibility of seeing a 15.0.2 before ios 15.1 gets released to the public although I don't see that happening unless there is a major issue that comes about and Apple didn't really post any release notes for security updates for 15.0.1 so unless there's a security you know vulnerability that gets found and Apple has to fix it really quick you know I don't really see a 15.0.2 coming out before 15.1 but it is in the realm of possibility but anyways guys there you have it that is iOS 15.0.1 let me know what you think about this
this update down there in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when iOS 15.1 gets released later this month. And I will be doing some in-depth coverage of that like usual. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.